Welcome back. This morning we're joined by Amber Ogle, who's the creator of the Ostomy Diaries. It's a website bringing awareness to a surgery called an ostomy, which helps those with Crohn's disease, other digestive tract issues. Amber, thank you so much for being here thank today. Thank you for having me. Awesome. So uh, this is kind of a cool thing, and I love the fact that you emailed me about it because mm -hmm. I wanted to share with people something I had never heard of before. So tell me a little bit about kind of what Crohn's disease is and how it can affect people. So Crohn's disease is one of the main um, diseases in the IBD, inflammatory bowel disease, umbrella. So there's actually over a million people in America right now that have Crohn's disease. It can cause inflammation anywhere from, you know, your mouth um, all the way to the backside. So mm -hmm, yeah. all the way through your digestive tract um, can cause ulcers, things like that. So, so it's just really, it's painful. Not it can a fun be time. Yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> so this, this surgery, the ostomy, is, is a way for folks to find relief from that, right? For sure. So when you get an ostomy, it basically just reroutes the way that bodily waste exits your body. For me, they removed my entire colon, and so now I have an opening in my abdomen. Um, it's called a stoma. That is my small intestines, and when bodily waste um, exits my body, it goes in this pouch. This is what I wear mm -hmm. every day. Um, so they make a ton of great products now. You know, we're so blessed that they have so many different options for ostomy bags. So it doesn't even bother me. A lot of the time I don't even really remember I'm wearing it. That's so. fantastic. So, so good. I know today you wanted to bring awareness to, to let folks know, hey, this goes on and this is something that um, you can consider if, if you're going through something like that. Right, exactly. Yeah. And I know you have started a charity as well to help folks with that. Tell me about yeah. that. Yeah. So, ostomy supplies, just like any medical supply, can be expensive. And there's so many people that are not insured or they're underinsured, and so they have a hard time affording their supplies. I'm a part of support groups where um, they have to tape Ziploc bags to their abdomen mm -hmm. to try to deal with this. It's so sad. So I prayed about it, and God just really led me to start this to try to help people so I got donations and we were actually able to send out over 120 packages That's everything awesome. that you would need for an ostomy bag change there's a few other products but um, it was my goal to give everyone one bag change which would last you know maybe a week if you're lucky you could have right. to change it sooner but we we're able to put four or five changes of supplies in each package that is so, so. good Amber quickly uh, if we want to know more where can we find you on Facebook on Twitter um, ostomy diaries so just mm -hmm. at ostomy Diaries on the social media channels or ostomydiaries.com and that's where they can get more information on how to help. We'll be doing blessing bags again this holiday season awesome. around Christmas. Amber, thank you so much for thank being here you today. For so me. so good. Good to learn something new Thanks. today. Let's send things over.